was getting worried you actually did end up in that dreamland cell. I uh, trust our mutual friend is listening in. Nothing gets past you. You can never be too sure these days. Trust is in short supply, especially amongst allies. You have reviewed the Madrid drop? We're still combing through it, but so far we've been able to corroborate everything in there. There's just one thing missing. Operatia is Babitil. Where will it happen? Quite the undertaking, isn't it? A massive particle accelerator and a specialized machine built with a single purpose to find and extract a needle from a haystack. Zykov. The lost Russian. A man out of time. Buried so deep within the dark ether, special equipment is needed to free him. But where to house such a massive operation? You need space, power, privacy. Enough, Sergei. Where is it? And what of my... The bargain. Agent Maxis. Once we have Zykov, she'll be released. I have the director's word. I could care less about his. Do I have yours? You have it. There is an old Spetsnaz training facility at the Zakarpatska Oblast in the Ukraine. It was given to Omega for early Operatia Inversia testing in 84. We called it Test Site Anna. You know it? I have friends who did. I didn't know it was repurposed. With good reason. It was shuttered after an incident in 81. I trust this is all you need? I'll keep you informed when we make our move, Ravanov. I'll do you one better. I'll be there. Throughout my studies of dark ether crystalline structures, few have intrigued me as much as the symbiotic relationship shared by three particularly unique and rare crystals. On a molecular level, these three are codependent. While each can survive on its own, they are exponentially more powerful when unified. There is the polymorphic crystal core, which has developed the most fascinating survival technique. It can reconfigure its form at will. There is the energetic geode, a highly volatile crystal that can evolve when impacted with high concentrations of ethereum. And there is the tempered crystal heart, the name is no misnomer, it is quite literally the crystalline heart from a dark ether species, extracted only when exposed to extreme heat. When all three are submerged in an ethereum pool, they coalesce, forging an ancient ethereal weapon. The tempered crystal and geode are both naturally occurring, but considering its function-driven final form, I believe the polymorphic crystal is manufactured by something in the dark ether, enabling the symbiotic relationship among the three. As to who created it, we may never know, but their creation speaks for itself. Great turn this thing on. There you go. Hello? Who... Who is this? You don't know me. At least I don't think so. You are Requiem or Omega? From your point of view, I bet it's hard to tell the difference these days. Ah, so... Requiem. Omega would not possess such self-awareness. But you are Russian. And you side with the Americans. I think you know it's never that simple. 
My name's Grigori Weaver, Special Operations Officer at Requiem. For the last 17 months, you've been in contact with my team. You've helped them survive. You've tested them. All with a singular purpose. Coming home. Yet, we're not the only ones you're talking to. You've been playing both sides. You both want the same thing. To stop the Forsaken. I just want to come home. How I accomplish that means little to me. Pretty selfish. Needs of one over the needs of millions. You do not know the Dark Aether the way I do. You could not possibly understand what I have done. What I have sacrificed to survive this wretched hell. If you were in my shoes, you would not be so quick to judge. Maybe. Here's what I know. Omega is planning on bringing you home. I know where, and I know when. I just need to know one last thing. If we recover you from Omega, will you side with us? Will you help us? Yes. You will help us stop the Forsaken. I want your word. Russian to Russian. You have it. <laughs> it is funny. When I speak to Russia, I talk to American. When I speak to America, I talk to Russian. Your world is confusing. Always has been. No, Grigori. It was simple once. Once upon a time, you knew who your enemies were. Major Carver, to what do I owe the pleasure? Well, considering we're on the verge of victory, I think I'll take that drink now. About time. Grab a chair. What's got you in such a good mood? I could ask you the same thing. At 1500 hours tomorrow, a Piratsaya first domino will be underway. Our team touches down at the Zakharapska Oblast. Within an hour, Kazimir Zaikov will be in Requiem custody. And Omega begins to crumble. Lazarovia. Cheers. And Krivchenko. If we have the opportunity, we engage. But Zykov is priority one. You know this. That's not what I'm asking. If our operation is a success, Kravchenko will have no moves left to make. Omega will be finished. Chebrikov will decide his fate. When you work under the Soviet hammer, it always ends the same way. You get nailed. Exactly. So, we finish this. Omega is defeated. Zaikov helps us stop the Forsaken. Then what? What do you mean? I don't know. Just... Can't shake this feeling. During Apache snow, I took part in... Let's just say I haven't forgotten it. It came back with me. I couldn't wash it off. We called it the stick. Requiem, the Dark Eater, this whole lot. We can't just wash this away either. We know things most can never imagine. So what happens to us? One day at a time, Mac. Let's see what tomorrow brings.
Central. Codename Whiskers. Requesting immediate transfer to Argus. What? Code in? You know who this is. Don't be ridiculous. Lovely night, isn't it? Nothing like the Big Apple in wintertime. Yeah, great. Just transfer me, fuckhead. He'll want to hear this. Argus, it's Whiskers. Yeah, yeah, it's back. Listen, I don't have much time, but I do have information. I know what Omega is planning. What do I want? I want a clean slate. My burn notice destroyed, my record expunged. Let bygones be bygones. Now, well, what if I told you I can deliver you Zykov on a silver platter? Yeah, that got your attention. Tuesday, 10 a.m., our old dead drop. I'll give you everything I have on Operatia is Bavatel. Thank you for meeting with me on such short notice. It is my pleasure. Why the late night call? Trouble sleeping. There is a delicate topic I wish to discuss. In 72 hours, Zykov will be in our custody. Soon after, we will face the enemy, the Forsaken. I had hoped you could offer some insight about what to expect, considering your family lineage. Uh, forgive me, Colonel. I am not sure what you mean. Come now. I have read your file. You are related to Oberfira Wolfram von Liszt, the fabled leader of the SS unit Die Wahrheit. He faced similar entities, yes. What was its name? <laughs> ah, yes. Kotif. Try it carefully, Colonel. There are certain names best left not said aloud. Uh, while it is true my great uncle pursued certain uh, obsessions, I am afraid I was pretty too little that would be helpful for our situation. Is that so? Unfortunately, sometimes the myth is larger than the man. They were just stories, Colonel. Stories to scare children. How disappointing. That will be all, Doctor. Have a good night. I can see myself out. Some doors are closed for a reason, Colonel. Do not open this one. To the left. The left! No, your other left! Jesus Christ! This is why we use the Imperial system. Dr. Peck. Hard at work, I see. Colonel. I wasn't expecting you for another week. Relax, Doctor. How was your David progressing? My... my what? Oh. <laughs> We're proceeding on schedule, Colonel. As anticipated, your reallocation of resources has accelerated our timeline. We're looking to be fully operational by the end of June. Hmm. Um... That was what we agreed upon. We set Zykov's extraction for July 4th. Plans have changed. Zykov's extraction is now June 4th. A month? You've got to be shitting me. You can't reasonably expect us to move up the schedule by a whole month. We won't have adequate time for testing. I'm not even sure the particle accelerator will be ready by that date. I don't want to hear excuses. I want to see results. As does the chairman committee. Pardon my French. This could fuck us. We're trying to extract a person buried inside a dimension filled with billions of creatures. A single miscalculation could turn this place into its own fucking outbreak zone. We can't just throw a dart at a calendar and declare a deadline. Science takes time. This is not a discussion. Operatia is Balitio is the crowning achievement of everything Omega has done until now. Once we have captured the Forsaken, he will be a weapon of unparalleled power. 
to do our bidding. He will destroy the West in one fell swoop. We will be heroes. You will get it done, and it will work. Shit. What are you looking at, Mr. Metric System? I said to the left! This is Dr. William Peck. It is the 4th of June, 1985, 9.32 a.m. This is test number eight for dimensional extraction. Must you start with that every single record? Oh, deja vu all over again. All teams are in position, ready to proceed. Colonel. Activating resonator. Beginning magnetic amplification. Well, what does it show? Dimensional barrier identified. Proceeding with scan. Barrier membrane is fluctuating. Increase voltage output by 10. Anything? We're picking up something. I'm just not sure what. It's him. I know it. We can't be sure. Increasing voltage output by 20. By 20? What, are you insane? Don't you dare. Captain, get your men into position. I want the threat neutralized now. Captain? Shit, 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 shit. Redirecting alignment. Proceeding with second scale. What are you doing? We need to close that gateway immediately. We will do no such thing. Ethereum levels are spiking across the facility. Your men... My men are loyal to Omega. We were the first. We are the last. That portal does not close. Not until we have them. I'm just telling you the date has changed, all right? June 4th. If you want him, you'll have to move fast. The Forsaken's cage has been completed to your specifications. Once Psykov gives us the creature's location, we'll extract him directly into our captivity. Kravchenko is blinded by abject loyalty and his determination to appease his superiors. You know this, ever since you first told him about the Forsaken. <laughs> Don't bullshit a bullshitter. I'm not stupid, I know it was you. I'll admit, at first I thought it was Strauss, maybe Weaver, but it's been you this whole time. You're the Requiem Mole, and I just want to figure out why. Hey, remember, you came to me at Outpost 25. You told me to get rid of her, despite Kravchenko's orders. I threw her in the dark ether for you. Just because you didn't anticipate they'd get her back, that's not on me. All I'm saying is, you want this thing, the Forsaken. You want it so badly that you don't care which side gets it for you, as long as you get it. If you're gonna pull this off, you need me. So, we have an agreement? Clean slate? Good. I'll let you know when. Have your men ready. So, they have an accord. Provided events transpire as you predict, then yes. I will not let that man catch me with my pants around my ankles. <sighs> an image I did not need. So, the recap. First, Kravchenko and Peck free Zykov, who, in turn, points them to the Forsaken's location. Once they have that, they extract it from the Dark Aether and place it securely in their prison box. At which point we swoop in with our hind, as instructed, to take the cage to the facility outside Moscow. That is, if everything goes according to plan, if things fall apart, 
if things fall apart. Plan B. Plan B, indeed. Your contact. He can guarantee our safety. We will be granted safe passage. And possibly employment, depending on how we play our parts. We are privy to a world of secrets few know even exist. In the right hands, we are more valuable alive. But in Kravchenko's... <laughs> I understand. Cheer up, Golem. We are the heroes in this. Like your uh, spaghetti westerns, yeah? I'm Stephen McQueen, and you're... Well, you're the other guy. Mm. You, Brenner. Exactly. The magnificent tool. Sam. How are you today? I am alive. Yes. Still alive. Are you scared? I am not scared. I have overcome much worse things. I don't mean scared of being here. I mean, are you scared of yourself? I am not a bad person. <laughs> you are a good soul. I want to believe that. I, I have to believe that. <laughs> you don't need to prove it to me. I know. Why can't you just let me go? Why can't you just put me out of my misery? Sam, I would never give up on you. You don't know how much power you really possess, what your gift truly is. <laughs> Do you want to take it from me? No. I want to help you learn how to use those gifts. For the good of us all. I don't understand. The Forsaken is almost upon us. And only you can stop it. 
Sam, there's someone here to see you. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, I've missed you so much. Oh, you, you've gotten so big. The director uh, said we could break the no visitors rule today. Uh, but not just a social call, is it? He wants a second opinion. Mine. About your state of mind. He wants to be sure I'm in control of myself. <laughs> it's floating. The television is floating. How can you do that? <sighs> I can do a lot of things. <sighs> You're floating. Thank you for everything, Liz. You've been a good friend. More. More than a friend. Sam. It sounds like you're saying goodbye. The first taken is almost upon us. And I might be the only one who can stop it. I don't want you to do this. This is my choice, Liz. So, what are you going to tell the director? I'm going to tell him that you're in control. You will look after her, won't you? Of course I will, Sam. I was talking to not so. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Sam. I'm not allowed to visit in person, but I just wanted to check in. Before the operation tomorrow, be there or be square. I know I can't tell you what to do. You wouldn't listen anyway, but seriously. I know my orders, Weaver. I assist with the infill, but then... You stand down. We can't risk any mistakes. We both know how badly things can go south if we act impulsively. You're talking about the boy, aren't you? And the mother. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't yours either, Sam. Thanks for calling, Weaver. I'll see you in the morning. Goodbye, Sam. I'll see you soon. Real soon. Weaver wants me to sit this one out, but he's not really calling the shot anymore. <sighs> Maybe he never was. The director is the one who knows what needs to happen. Maybe he always has. But this... This is my choice. I know what must be done. If you... If you do run into the folks at Requiem... Tell them, I said. Hello.
His name was Daniel. And I, we, will forever feel responsible for his death. I gave the intel to Weaver. The intel he acted upon. That's what we're all supposed to do, right? Act on the available intel. That's just what Weaver did. Act. Unfortunately, his actions resulted in collateral damage that neither of us will ever be able to forgive ourselves for. I'm sorry. I know he is too. But I still have a terrible feeling that the events of that day may yet come back to haunt us. I just need you to know. I am sorry. I've seen darkness. I've lived through it. Even when I saw no hope for a new dawn. Even in my dreams I saw darkness. It is coming. The Forsaken. I will not, cannot, allow it to consume us all. a machine I have seen in my crossings, a fiery mechanical dragon. The soldiers, they, they provide it with offerings of flesh. They are rewarded handsomely. They do not realize every offering is another soul for him to consume. They have made him more powerful than I thought possible. I cannot blame them. They do what they believe is right. They are following blindly. I was once very much like them. I have seen many things in my travels. For all its horror, there is beauty in this deep, dark ether. The crystals, they take our memories. They make us forget who we were. But our memories do not fade. They are taken from us and form something new. Something magical. Orbs. I have seen many in my time here. So many memories. So many stories to tell. Memories of a Russian scientist. Of an American spy. There is one orb. It is different. Special. It is like me. It can cross between worlds. It is filled with the laughter of a child. I may never learn who the child is or, or what happened to them. But their memories are powerful. <laughs> 